What's going on? This is me, Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing sort of a live video. This is no voiceover. This is all live. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 8 Beta 1 for free on your any of your iOS devices. Now, just to make this clear, I am going to be doing this on my iPod Touch 5th generation, and I quickly want to state that this is for educational purposes only, and that I will be providing the download link. However, this is for educational purposes only, and can render your device useless if you do not register your UDID. However, you must have your UDID in order for this to work, and the download link for the IPSW will be in the description, so watch out for that. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get and get started. Now I'm just going to quickly show you guys that you must be running iOS 7.1.1, which is Apple's uh, newest firmware. I'm just going to quickly show you guys on my iPod Touch there. It does say iOS 7.1.1 right there on the iOS device. So I quickly wanted to state that this is the newest version of any Apple iOS IPSW firmware uh, available to the public right now. Now what you're going to do, since this is a brand new iPod, I definitely recommend you start off restoring. I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit there so I can quickly show you in iTunes. What we're going to do is you're going to set up as new iPod, click on continue. It's going to go ahead and load up the stuff that's required with iTunes. It's going to ask you to sync. I'm not going to sync, however, I'm probably going to be forced to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sync. It's going to take a little while. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to quickly show you guys more in depth here in iTunes. So we're going to go and adjust that focus right there. Perfect. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do this. So the very first thing you're going to have to do is once you have the firmware downloaded, you're going to go on your keyboard. On Mac, you're going to press Alt, and then on Windows, you're going to press Shift. So what you're going to do on Mac, you're going to go to Alt, so ALT your option, and then click or left click like we normally click on this. And we're going to click on the desktop and browse for our firmware. We're going to click on Alt, check for updates. And it's going to bring up this window to browse for our firmware. We're going to go ahead and locate the 5.1 or the iOS 8 beta 1. Uh, click on open. And it's going to say that iTunes will update your iPod Touch to iOS 8 and will verify the update with Apple. We're going to click on update and it's going to start to extract the firmware files from here. So we're just going to go ahead and let that happen. While in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and watch, keep an eye out for the firmware here in our iOS device so we make sure that's gonna happen right over there while we are here we're going to be taking a look at our iPod touch it's going to still have a black screen and the screen will still be lit here so I'm just gonna have this side by side and quickly showing you guys as you see again I am using my iPod touch fifth generation it's still saying there extracting software so we want to keep a close eye on it make sure nothing happens and this is for educational purposes only. I will be providing the link in the description for the IPSW. But however, you must, must have the IPSW downloaded or and your UDID registered with your device on a website. I paid six bucks to get mine registered instead of having to pay a hundred dollars to get yours registered with Apple on their uh, website or for the developer's option. Um, it's going to say that it's going to prepare the iPod for the software update. However, uh, so far our iPod Touch has been turned off. So it, once we notice this, it's going to tell us to connect it via iTunes, just like this. So it's going to wait a little while and uh, our device is pretty much uh, useless at this point. Uh, we cannot use it. It's doing its booting on right now. So just let it uh, ha continue to boot. Do not disturb it because that will, of course, uh, eventually. And please have your device plugged in via the lightning connector. I forgot to mention that earlier when doing this in Apple. So make sure not to forget that because that is required when doing this. iTunes is still saying waiting for the iPod Touch. It will display that message for a while until the iPod Touch starts to move the bar around so we can see actually what's happening on the iPod Touch. So far nothing is happening uh, but eventually something will get going. Right now it's verifying updated iPod Touch software so we definitely want to keep an eye out for that. It'll make sure it goes through the verification process uh, because if it doesn't that means you do not register your UDID successfully and you should not go on to this. 
iOS 8 does have some security flaws, however. Uh, they're not really that major, but I definitely recommend you do this on your own. I am not re held responsible for any uh, thing that happens to your device. If anything happens to mine, that's my responsibility, but it's not my responsibility if ha anything happens to yours. However, I trust this jailbreak, just like I've, or I trust this update with Apple iOS 8 beta, just like I did with uh, iOS 7. If we take a look right now, updating iPod Touch software, if we go ahead and put that down, I'm going to zoom in right there. It is successfully working right now, so I'm just going to keep an eye out for that and put that to the side right there just to quickly show you, and then I can move my iPod Touch here. If you notice, the bar has already started to move right over there. Um, keep an eye out for that as well. So it's about that much done, but uh, so far it is working. I'm going to keep I'm going to have the camera on the computer and time to time show you if anything changes on the iPod touch. I will continue in showing you what it looks like when it does change. iTunes is about halfway done updating the iPod right now to iOS 8 from iOS 7.1.1. You always have the option to downgrade to iOS 7.1.1 and I do recommend starting off with a fresh device. Fresh device meaning that you are updated to Apple's newest public firmware iOS 7.1.1 and you do have a fresh restore. That means everything is restored to factory settings just like you open it from the box. I definitely recommend you start off from that. Never start or never jailbreak or restore your device if you have it half apps installed because half of the time your phone will probably end up frozen or bricked and I definitely recommend you don't do that. Alright, iTunes is almost done updating the iPod Touch software. Uh, in the meantime, on our iOS device, it is still a few, um, about halfway done, I guess you can call it uh, more like 45% done. Now it's about halfway done. Uh, 3D process in our iPod Touch, so we can wait. It This will take a little while. In the meantime, iTunes is now mentioning that it is verifying the iPod Touch software right there. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But it, right now it is verifying updated iPod software. So we do want to keep an eye out for that. Make sure everything's going well. Right now you can call it about 75% done on the iPod Touch. As well as that much done on the computer. Taking a look right now. It's just browsing. It's going to be doing a few different things. It's going to be doing a little bit different stuff here. Verifying the iPod software. As well as a few other uh, steps. Uh, when they had to do complete the whole update, updated uh, firmware to iOS 8. Uh, there are a few different features in iOS 8. I will be bringing a separate video for you guys uh, eventually, maybe tomorrow, about uh, how this is going to work and everything like that, and some features of iOS 8. So we'll see well, if you guys like this video. I'll go ahead and release a video like that for you guys. Right now, I just finished verifying the iPod Touch. Uh, however, the iPod Touch still has a few steps to go, such as uh, call it about 90% done. Still has some stuff to happen. In the meantime, while this completes, uh, I'm just waiting. All right, uh, iTunes has displayed the message successfully restored. It is updated and is restarting. So I just click on OK on your Mac. We can go ahead and zoom out now. Um, I we can call it almost done here. Our iOS device is just booting up right now, so it's uh, no biggie. But uh, once our device has finished booting up, I'm going to go ahead and show you and prove to you that this is running iOS 8 Beta 1 uh, firmware from Apple's developer website. Um, I did not, I did download this one, but I did find a link for you guys for iOS 8, uh, the additional software for you guys so I definitely recommend you guys download this I really do like iOS 8 as you see right now on the iPod touch it is updating in iTunes nothing is happening currently right now in iTunes so if you just approve right there uh, iTunes you can, I bet you can close it right now but uh, just to show you guys on on here uh, everything is working great uh, right now on the iPod touch 
it's fine it's still plugged in I still want to have it plugged into your computer do not unplug it on your computer because that will result in major consequences my arm is getting a little tired so I'm just gonna switch right here but uh, just to quickly show you guys I'm gonna set down my iPod touch and just uh, set it focus on the computer So iOS 8, uh, here there's a few different things. I just got back from WWDC. iOS 8 has also been released with OS X 10 uh, Yosemite. So I, de I did already update my computer to OS X 10 Yosemite just before I made this video because I felt that was a little bit more important. But for some reason I am doing this now, which I should have done this in the first place. On our iOS device now, we are greeted with a wonderful little Apple logo right there. I'm booting up right now. If you notice, what's funny is how when we first set up our iOS device, I'm going to go ahead and set this up on the dock so you can go see better on the dock. To set up on the dock, we're just going to go ahead and slide to set it up. We're going to go ahead and check that the update was successfully and there are a few more steps. So we're going to click on continue continue we're gonna go ahead and uh, enable or disable the location services for this as uh, purpose of the video click on ok and then we're going to go right ahead and we're going to skip uh, this step temporarily because I will do that later skip and then we're gonna go right ahead and create a passcode we're not gonna add a passcode right now I'm pretty much just skipping this uh, continue and then we're gonna go ahead and welcome to the iPod touch if we notice when we first uh, open the iPod Touch, there's not a big or significant difference. However, there are a few different applications uh, that are noted up on top that now come standard on your iOS or OS X10 